All right, what's going on eighth graders? So um, here's what we're gonna do for this year. Last year, we didn't really spend a whole lot of time in these foldouts, um, but that was something that I wanted to experiment with. I didn't like not using these, so if you guys think back when you were in sixth grade, this is something we used a lot of in my class. And what we're gonna do this year is I'm gonna, I don't know, I guess enhance it a little bit um, by doing these videos, and that way, whenever you have a question about something, if you're at home, maybe you missed a day, or maybe I missed a day, and you're confused about how to do a certain function on one of these activities and these units, you'll just simply open up to this page here and you're gonna have a QR code inside here on the inside tab that you can scan and it's gonna to explain to you what's happening here, all right? So again, that's if you're gone or I'm gone or something like that. So with that being said, um, the first unit we're gonna be covering is volume. And so what I wanna do first off is show you guys how to find the volume of a cone, okay? So in that tab, you guys are probably, if you've already, if you're watching this video, you probably scanned that tab or that QR code and you're watching the instructions on how to solve the problem that's on that one, okay? So with that being the case, let's go ahead and find the volume of a cone. So we're gonna go ahead and draw a cone, all right? Look something, something like this, okay? And there's my radius to the side. Now, on the one that you guys have on your page here, um, you've got a height of 13 meters, and I think you have a radius on this one of, yeah, 2 meters. So, here's how we solve this problem. Now, our formula for finding the volume of a cone is simply this. V volume equals one-third times area of the base, you guys probably remember this from last year, times the height, okay? So, when you're solving this problem, this is going to be your formula, and when you look at it in your, in your star chart, it's going to look something like this, one-third B H, okay? That's, going to, that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to show you guys how to solve using this method, and if you guys don't like this method, uh, I know Mr. Eckbert and Mr. Wave teach another method as well you guys can use. So with that being the case, here's what we do. We ask ourselves two questions. First question is, what's the height? When I look at this cone, I see that the height of this is 13, so I'm going to go ahead and bring an arrow down here. I'm going to put 13 meters right there. Once I use that 13 meters from the cone, I don't need it, so I'm just going to put an X through it. My second question is this, what is the shape of the body? Well, when I look at the bottom of this cone, I can see that it's a circle, all right? And I'm going to put my formula for the area of the circle, the area of the bottom, or the area of the base, this capital B, in here, all right? And that formula is pi times radius squared. Now, you guys obviously know pi at this point, I think. 3.14 times my radius, which in this case is 2 squared, or 2 times 2, okay? If I multiply 3.14 times 2 times 2, I'm going to get an answer of 12.56. And that is what's going to come down here to be multiplied by 13, okay? So, I've got 12.56 times 13. Now, I have this one-third that I have to use. And using that one-third, the reason I use that is because it takes into account, this one-third does, that if I had a pitcher of water, and I pull the top off of this little cone here, and I just start dumping water in here, dumping water, dumping water, it's going to hold more water at the bottom than it will at the top. Because as it goes higher and higher, it gets smaller and smaller. Okay, And that one-third takes into account the fact that as it gets higher, it's going to get smaller, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and bring this down and multiply this times one-third. Now, if you guys want, you guys can turn this into a decimal and put like 0 0.33333, it's going to keep on going forever and ever. But the problem with that is it's less accurate, okay? If you do one-third times 12.56 times 13, it's going to give you a more accurate answer, and in this case, if I multiply one-third times 12.56 times 13, I'm going to get an answer of 53.88. And that's going to be in meters cubed, okay? Because like I said, when we're talking about volume, it's as if we have a bunch of little tiny cubes that are one meter by one meter by one meter, okay? And I would need 53.88 of those little tiny cubes to completely fill that cone up, all right? If you guys have any questions, you guys can always come find me in room 12. If not, um, just we're going to go ahead on to the next unit here in a few minutes. Thanks.